Good morning. How are you today? Well, it's raining lightly. Just started. <laughs> I'm already committed. Uh, it's about 40 something, two, three. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's overcast. <laughs> so, uh, but it's still invigorating. I haven't been able to get out to walk because of the cases I'm writing and the fact that we're moving our offices within the same building, and that's a good thing. So, uh, well, the news I pick out is kind of bad news, but isn't that the definition that we only treat as worth reading the problems? And in a way, <laughs> that's how we manage our lives a little bit. Uh, X percent enjoyment and a chunk of time managing bad and difficult things. So, uh, the, this one's a sign. It's kind of like the canary in the mines. Microsoft is letting 10,000 employees go. So if you're a person that traffics in tech stock, you better take another look at it because that sounds like uh, something's happening. And for we Enviro green tree huggers, we have to be concerned that Greenland is uh, ice sheet is the warmest it's been in a thousand years. And the temperature went up 2.7 degrees and I don't, I don't know the, uh, the period. I mean, I don't think it's 100 years, but <clears throat> they claim in recent years. That's, that's true. That's, that's an enormous difference. Of course, we're talking about a concentrate of ice. So I'm going to have to do more research and report back to you on that. The um, thinking I've had is uh, about crime, because I have some cases in that regard, is that uh, I always said as a prosecutor, <laughs> we, don't, we don't catch the geniuses. And in that category, I had a client uh, who was accused of committing bank robbery by following people to a bank and then following them when they made cash withdrawals and taking the cash from them. But consider that, let's just say hypothetically in this case, and this matter is public, that uh, then they put the money on a table and took a picture of it. Uh, and it was one of those live pictures so that you could actually hear what they were saying and the chortling about the money they got. Not a good move. The, uh, uh, and the, there, there's a, another interesting, there's a guy who murdered his wife, okay? And I don't know what evidence they had of it, but uh, among his Google searches <laughs> afterwards was how to dismember a body. And uh, that, that didn't work out so well for him. In the category of it seems to me really innocent and a lot of bullshit is the Alec Baldwin case. I just, I, I am sympathetic to his defense that he didn't know the gun was loaded, like a favorite song that some people sing. And so I think that that's, uh, that's pretty terrible. In the category of maybe people deserve it, whether it's true or not, uh, some think the unsaintly Santos uh, <laughs> was, uh, was dancing drag in Brazil. Well, anything's possible. It would be funny that the true story outstrips some of the stories he tells in a negative way. And then finally, uh, one of the reasons I wasn't available the last couple of days is uh, I've been working on an appeal to the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals attacking how patients are being treated in a case involving a, uh, a doctor who has prescribed medicine to them, which allowed them to function, and they all had long-standing uh, disabilities and problems. And so they're really under palliative care because uh, they will have these problems the rest of their life, probably. Now, it may not happen, but that's kind of the, the way the doctors are looking at it. And uh, I found out uh, yesterday that uh, they're permitting us to have a full appeal to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia. After my cherished Second Circuit, where I cut my teeth as a law clerk and a prosecutor, uh, this is one of the most powerful uh, courts in the land. How we're going to do, I don't know. But we're, we're <laughs> to borrow from uh, Marlon Brando, I think we could be a contender. You know, we could be a contender. So uh, I have enjoyed working, and uh, I was surprised how much fun it was to be at my office with uh, the other members of the, the firm. And, you know, I talk to them and so forth. But in recent days, we worked on an appeal together. Uh, that is, uh, I was brought in sort of as the arbiter. Does that make sense or this makes sense? And we'd all read the papers, and it was a lot of fun working it together. At a distance, me wearing a mask. So uh, 
I guess uh, I don't know if it's going to rain tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to go back to the office and finish packing because on Monday we'll actually move the the machines, the electronics, and so forth into our our new abodes. So it's good talking to you. I've missed walking, and it feels really good uh, because it's not a substitute when you work on a treadmill. Not when you have the trees, <laughs> the trees, the trees all around. So. Nice talking to you. Try to talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.